At a young age, Zach Vachikan found himself hanging around bad influences as a result of unresolved issues concerning his father. I grew up without a, my dad. He left when I was pretty young, and um, you know, throughout my life, I've always, always wondered why, like, why he left, and I always had this feeling that it was my fault. You know, so I started getting into the wrong crowd. I just that, had that didn't care mentality. As insecurities took over and depression set in. Zach looked to drugs for the answer. I started smoking weed at the age of 11, 11 or 12, all the way to about last year, so it's 11 years. And um, on top of that, you know, I was always partying, you know, trying to fill this void, just trying to just flesh out reality. And so I was always partying every weekend, getting drunk. Um, and then I was introduced to pills, you know, and that really was my escape. You know, I was high almost every day, almost uh, off of anything, really any narcotic. I could find Xanax, Adderall. You know, I just had to have something. Still void of peace, Zach turned to his family's religion of Buddhism and even went as far as becoming a monk. I became a monk, you know, try to find inner peace, try to, you know, overcome these things and I, I only felt like I was going more down because I couldn't even live up to that expect expectation. Like, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't succeed at anything I did. And then, so that was really discouraging and it brought me deeper into depression. Living as a Buddhist monk seemed to leave Zach worse off than before. Life had become too heavy for Zach to carry any longer. And then one night I just, you know, thought to myself, like, I'm just dead weight. So my mom hides her gun in her room I'm not gonna say where, but I went and grabbed it, you know, and I ran downstairs and locked my door, turned up the music and tried to pull the trigger, but it just jammed, you know, and I figured it was a sign some, somehow. Zach had planned to commit suicide once more, but was caught by a friend who had stopped him in the act. I was gonna hang myself, but he, <laughs> he snuck through my window and found me. Took the rope from me and just, you know, stayed with me that night and made sure I didn't do anything. And I was just, I just poured out to him, and just like, man, I, I don't know why I can't do anything right in my life. Why I am the way I am. After some convincing, his friend had talked him into coming to youth service that next day. The presence here was amazing. It was really good, but it was weird to me to see how much people cared. Like I wonder, I, I was wondering where all this you know, excitement and love and stuff was was coming from. Why these people worship this God so much because I'm over here going through what I'm going through and I just didn't believe in a God. The words spoken that night had reached Zach in a way that nothing else had. I was being touched. I felt really, really convicted, but in a good way. Like it reevaluated my life. And I went home, I cried. I didn't make it to like 20 minutes of the service, but I I went home and I cried. And I, something sparked in me that I somehow found a Bible in a Buddhist home. It was kind of ironic. And then I read through Psalms and Proverbs in one sitting and I just got curious, like, what does this mean? Like, why do I feel the way I feel? That following Sunday, Zach was back in church and gave his life to Christ. I felt this, you know, this push to come up on altar call, so I gave my life. And things have been great. You know, I was set free from drugs. I never went back. I actually found a, a big packet of pills. And uh, I called my, my girlfriend and, you know, I told her that I just didn't want to do it anymore. So I flushed them. God has taken me through so much now. Like me and my girlfriend were living a sinful life and we decided to separate, you know, and try to focus on God and <laughs> now we're getting married. And uh, you know, we're, we're both serving in the church and it's it's amazing like, to be in an environment where people care and to feel the presence of God and to know what true love and true peace is. My name is Zach Batsakan. And this is my testimony.